Morning, Ikram, and thank you for Good your morning. time. May I begin with you as we get back from the break? And uh, this was on largely the <clears throat> place of young Kenyans in the country's uh, political and social economic progress. And then the uh, panel, despite holding varied opinions as to where the responsibility lies between the government and the opposition, what needs to be done to fix the problem, the consensus has been that the common denominator affecting you, young Kenyans, is the same. I mean, mm. when do you then gather the courage to address, or when is the shift from the current problems that you are facing? Okay, uh, apologies first for, I was caught in traffic. Um, I think in this all chaotic, uh, from maybe January and Mandamano and government and everything, the most affected are the youths. Cause that are uh, what I had, Wakili say, like those apprehended, most of them, Wezi Pata, an elder person apprehended. So most of the youths are uh, more like activists and um, a bit, let me say, ambitious. They want to see a changed Kenya in some way. You can see in social media, they largely use memes, maybe just to express whatever they want, but in a light way. Um, let me go back to the discussion you had before I was here, uh, I think it is the government's uh, responsibility to safeguard protesters. And it is the go government's responsibility to safeguard the constitution. It is not their right, and it is not a privilege for them to give uh, protesters their, um, like, a go ahead to protest. So uh, by that, I mean that, um, most of uh, whatever is happening here, you find that we have uh, repressive and um, fiscal and monetary issues. Mm -hmm. How have we addressed it? Unemployment, who are, the, who are affected youths? The uh, education system moved from uh, 844 to CBC. How have they equipped schools? So how, how you know, we can't just bring the uh, party politics and not address the main issues. And that is why uh, us as youths right now, we're in the forefront. Let me just say that it's not about UDA or Azimio. It's about what we have experienced in Kenya. Economic slavery and um, economic uh, uh, hindrance for the last, like let me say, from 2014, mm -hmm. so we have reached a dead end. This now, we just have a leader in between here. This leader now, let's say it is maybe Azimio, uh, Raila Molo Odinga, or let's say it is, why are we not talking about Roots Party leader, or Jakoya, who are just spearheading it? But with, even without them, youths and Kenyan at large, Bado Wataenda Mandamano, or they inquire what you can see, like uh, I've just seen yesterday, that uh, CIA, the looting of uh, public funds in Nairobi, mm -hmm. in CIA, in across all the counties. So, Mtuanaona, I'm going to a public hospital, just a dispensary, and there is no Panadol. And a mere MCA or maybe a senator is driving Alexa's um, new model. So, Donona, like 